when you walk into the audiology booth, you'll come to the windowsill and you'll find the binder, which has the available times to sign out the booth in order to perform your screening. In the very beginning of the binder, you'll find available spots in order to sign out a portable audiometer, and in the back of the binder, you'll find the available times that you can sign out the booth itself in order to perform a hearing screening. If you look over here, this is where all the infection control is located in order to start performing your hearing screening. But prior to performing otoscopy, you will clean your hands and then the proper audio wipes are here in order to clean the materials you use after you use them. This is the tympanometer, which you will use for cer under certain conditions. And then you have your tim probes in all available sizes right here, which can also be placed in this cup as soon as you're done to be screened. On the opposite side of the room, you'll find our file cabinet, which has all the supplies that you might need to replenish out here. You have your gloves, your hand sanitizer, more specula, more probe, probe tips, etc. And if you go in the first drawer, you'll find all of our screening forms that you should prepare prior to your screening, depending on your client. So there's case histories for children and adults, as well as a hearing handicap inventory for adults and the elderly, and then a preschool or school age sifter that you might need depending on the child, as well as your screening form, which is essential. Also in here, you can find all informational forms that might be helpful to the family or the adult client, and you can also find screening forms that might be appropriate if you're performing an APD screening. In the second drawer is where you'll find your APD screening. For example, the Scan 3 for children is found in this drawer. If you open the box, you'll find the CD as well as the manual and screening sheets that you can use. Also in here is a portable CD player that can be used to perform the screening, if not in this room, in another condition of the room. Then, if you walk into the room right next to the file cabinets, this is your soundproof booth where you can complete your hearing screening. In here is where you'll find the diagnostic audiometer, which can be used for your hearing screening. You'll also find the biological check checklist, which should be completed prior to your screening. You would put the date right here, the check marks showing that you did each step and that the biological check was a pass, and then put your initials in order to show that you completed it. In the second room, which is actually located closest to the door we used to get into the audiology booth, is the room where your client will most likely be seated while you're performing the screening. While you are on the diagnostic side, they will be sitting here in the chair ready to put the headphones on and have the hearing screening conducted. However, if you're performing a screening on a preschool client, there's a chance that you will be in this room alongside with them and a portable audiometer in which you will conduct play audiometry. Underneath the brown table closest to the door, you'll find toys and bins that can be used for play audiometry. Then finally in this room, you'll find the headphones that you will use for your screening. Over here we have bone conduction headphones, but over here we have the air conduction headphones that will be used in order to perform the screening. You will appropriately put these on your client's head. They are labeled with the red side for the right ear and the blue side for the left 